Great day to listen to some of this talking, uh, these talking points. They are listening to you. I was told they're listening to you. They heard you. They know you count. They know you were fed up with the um, generic eunuch talk. And they came out and they saved the day. It was like watching Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle, and take someone else and throw them in there all in one day in a World Series yesterday. Now, I never knew much about Rubio. I wasn't impressed with him. I didn't know who he was. I thought they were just using him because he was a, uh, you know, a guy with a Hispanic name with a story to tell. I was shocked at how good this man was. And one, one piece in particular is so amazing to listen to. Marco Rubio in Clip 24. Listen to this carefully. I remembered my father who worked for many years as a banquet bartender. He was grateful for the work he had. But that's not the life he wanted for us. You see, he stood behind a bar in, in the back of the room all those years. So one day I could stand behind a podium in the front of a room. Unbelievable. One unbelievable story. Astounding story. And by the way, Romney should have picked Rubio to be his VP candidate. Nothing wrong with Ryan. Ryan's a little cold. He's just a basically conservative, uh, eco you know, economic type, fiscal conservative, probably another social liberal as uh, the entire Republican camp is. But nevertheless, Rubio has a better story than Ryan does. Rubio, keep your eye on him. This man has a huge future ahead of him in the Republican Party. I would not, I would not say he can't be president. I would say Rubio can be president. I would say Rubio will be president one day. That's my opinion. He's fabulous. Lovely. Listen to clip 23 now. Bartender. My mom was a cashier, a hotel maid, a stock clerk at Kmart. They never made it big. They were never rich. And yet they were successful. Because just a few decades removed from hopelessness, they made possible for us all the things that had been impossible for them. It's beautiful. It was unbelievable. I mean, many of it touched me in the sense that I came from an immigrant family. I've tried to tell you that story many times, but frankly, as eloquent as I can be sometimes, I think that Rubio has uh, better speechwriters than I do because I don't have speechwriters. This was a polished speech because it's based on reality. It was beautiful. And uh, I was very impressed.